Stephen from Sienna Plantation has some cable concerns. Well, he's remodeling his bathroom, and it's not the cable you think. Okay, he Stephen writes, "We're <laughs> moving." Yeah, yeah, so yeah, and I run that cable in the bathroom. He says, "We're moving the bathroom drain." And while <laughs> yes. the contractor was removing concrete, he cut the sheathing or protective coating to this cable. And it's one of the post-tension cables for his home. He wants to know, Tom, what is the proper way for repairing one of these? You can't do a lot to it. About the only thing I could tell you to do, and it happens a lot. And if it, it still can be re restrung, if, if he cut, it looks like a big nick on one side. Uh, about the only thing I would do is I would tape it up with some really good high-end... Uh, I hate to use the word duct tape because there's better tape than that. I would just tape it up and go with the project. There's nothing else you're really going to do. That's just part of what happens with post-tension slabs. And I, I will say this, though. for my, If you look at the, or listen to my, my show over the last 35 years, one of the problems with post-tension slabs is it's very difficult to remodel. <clears throat> with steel and concrete, you can add to it. You can, you can cut the steel, you can lay it back down, you can re-pour it. It's very forgiving, but when you have those cables in there, when you start breaking it up, you take a chance of hurting it. When you start adding uh, slabs to it, everything is moving differently, you have more problems. So that's always been a downfall, and I've always told people if you're going to do a post-tension slab, live with what you built. Now you can remodel it, but you're going to have instances like this where something could happen. Usually what you worry about is they cut the cable. And even that might not be the end of the world if you cut just one cable. In this case, I think this is minor. He got away easy. I'd tape it up, I'd project, and I'd forget about it. I think it'll be another 50, 100 years before anybody would ever see anything happen. And I don't even think you'd know it if it did happen. Tom, if I have a post-tension slab, is there any way of knowing before they try cutting through where those cables are so you could avoid that kind of problem? No, and you can avoid it because... Uh, Charlie, I know you're doing a, you're moving a bathtub or something to your house. You want to go from this point to this point, and there's only one way there. <laughs> and so if it's there or not, you still got to break it up. You just have to be careful. Sometimes this happens. With steel, the same thing happens. It's part of doing major remodels and breaking up a slab. I don't think it's a bad issue with his at all. Uh, I think they... It's it's probably more concerning for him because he's not sure what what is going to happen. But I don't think anything's going to happen. It'll be fine as long as they prep it and put it back together. It's going to be fine. All right. Do you want some fine advice? Go click on that blue ask Tom button right there on our homepage at homeshowradio.com. You can fill out the form. You can send us a video. Either way, we're happy to help you out. Send pictures too. Though that helps us just like like it helped us here. Um, and we'll post a new one. Tom likes put us to put up a new one every day. So we record these and put them up at homeshowradio.com, our Facebook page, of course, our YouTube channel.